So Harry, we're sitting here in your backyard in this beautiful studio but amongst mm. all this beautiful artwork. Can mm. you please tell something about one of these paintings or what do you like to do and how how you come up with these ideas like they look very very beautiful. I want to know more about them. Uh, thanks Yuka. Well, I, I'll, I'll have a go uh, trying to explain it to you. Um, so, I mean, uh, I make paintings, I make stories, um, sometimes they intertwine and I think I, I, I guess it comes out of some of my beliefs about life and what life is like and what my experience of that is because uh, I sort of see the world and existence is very malleable and very shifting and I, I can I feel like quite easily um, we can shift between different points of view and ways of seeing the world and uh, so my my pictures and my paintings and my stories all come from sort of something I would do in childhood just imagining worlds and and going and playing and creating whatever story and world you want to create so uh, a lot of my paintings are lyrical they allegorical they they move through like it's about a, an adventure through a landscape and it's also you know, it's uh, things coming alive and becoming part of that story. So mountains and trees all um, interacting with people and and everything having a voice and everything like in a, in a sort of vast play where everything can uh, talks to one another and the 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 playwright or the writer is able to is able to take on all these ideas and see what is produced when they put like various ideas into the same room and just see what they generate so taking any element and and even contrasting elements simultaneous truths that usually don't mesh together and then seeing what the mesh is that pulls them together yeah. and like what I wanted to also know like is when do you feel most inspired painting? Like right now we're sitting here, like in the afternoon sun, like you get beautiful natural light here. Like is that when you wanna, like you come up with your stories or is it when you wake up or is it in the middle of the night or like how how does that story that you were, you were describing, how does that translate into um, like a piece of paper or, or yeah. the canvas? Yeah, I mean this beautiful landscape we're in and the light and the sun, it feels like the awake time and that's generally what I'm painting is that yeah is, is sort of a, a there's lots of bright colors and yeah. yeah a lot of the time is when there is Sun and shadow in the paintings yeah it's some it's all not not usually not overcast it's usually like dappled or Sun so that there's like the light and the shadow but in terms of coming up with the paintings they, they, they takes on all different aspects so sometimes it'll be from dreams Sometimes I'll like just start putting stuff on the campus, like scribbling, and then find what's inside that. Uh, and where else? Or, or I might start with a single thing that I know is fixed, like a portrait, and then be playing around that. Um, and so they, they sort of start in different ways. But yeah, the, this time, the, the sun being out is a very important time of day. Yeah. So that's, that's when you do most of your painting. Yeah, I painted. That, that's right as well. I, I don't. I, I, I've only painted at night a few times. Yeah. For some reason, I paint. Yeah, like, like daylight hours usually. So that's sort of like the cycle. Like, you go through the winter, or like when those yeah. those uh, ideas emerge, and then you go into spring morning, and and the the light, the day, and yeah, and that's where you produce. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm. and the harvest too, mm. I suppose. And also mm. like. There's one theme that you can also see when you look at your artwork like this. There's some female figures like with mm. some nakedness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's important to talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, do you, do you want to share something about that? Yeah. Like, what? Well, what gets drawn to you? Like, obviously, yeah. everybody. Like, yeah. Like, that's healthy, like, healthy men usually usually gets drawn to yeah. female figure, and that's beautiful. And yeah, and yeah. Cool. Obviously, like, yeah, that, that's right. I mean, it's partly what I think is beautiful. Um, Partly uh, looking at this, the feminine, which um, I can only experience from my point of view, 
and so I'm kind of creating these female figures or either either they're being created or they're from real people and then so then they're taking on the character the character of that that yeah. persona um but it's definitely i feel like for me it's just like the ideal form of the like the, this beautiful like it's it's beauty for me, for me. It's what I'm attracted to, and then and and, so, and I, I want my paintings to be full of energy and life and erotic energy, yeah. and like that's what life's about. Is this sort of like erotic bursting forth of of growth and love, and so yeah. like you know the the erotic erotic drive is sort of pushes forth evolution. Mm. It just came to me like mm. Mother Nature. That's the female energy as well. Mm. Like you you love that mm. sort of. The landscapes and that's that's the same yeah. thing. It's yeah. just like it's just a like different form of a female body, basically. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. Like, you know, that's that's my experience of the feminine. So that's what I'm painting. 